The goal of this procedure is to perform stable in vivo imaging in the mouse spinal cord using two photon microscopy. This is accomplished by first anesthetizing the animal with an anesthetic mix that achieves a steady yet calm breathing rhythm. The second step of the procedure is to expose the spinal column at the desired level and then perform a laminectomy to expose the underlying spinal cord so that it can be imaged in vivo. The third step is to place the animal on the spinal stabilization device. The final step is the isolation of the exposed spinal cord segment in preparation for in vivo imaging. Ultimately, results can be obtained that detail the dynamic behavior of cells and their interactions with other cell types or structures in the living spinal cord through time-lapse in vivo imaging using two-photon microscopy. The main advantage of this technique over previous attempts to image the spinal cord in vivo is that it generates raw in vivo imaging data uh, that require no post-processing and can be immediately evaluated uh, and used for further analysis. The implications of this technique extend toward treatment uh, following spinal cord injury or disease uh, because, uh, for example, it allows us uh, to study the progression of uh, axonal degeneration or regeneration uh, after, uh, for example, an injury uh, in real time. Uh, besides spinal cord injury, uh, this technique can be used uh, to, uh, to study the progression of uh, inflammatory or neurodegenerative processes uh, in animal models of disease such as uh, multiple sclerosis or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis uh, where the disease pathology is uh, prominent in the spinal cord.